Hello, everybody. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I'm a few minutes late. My phone has been exploding with texts. Oh my gosh, I don't know what it is at about like 10.30, 11 o'clock, 11.30, everyone wants to text on a Friday. It seems like it happens a lot of days, but today has been like particularly crazy. So anyway, I apologize if I get distracted because I feel like, um, you know, I'm kind of in the middle of texting with some people. So hopefully not too many more of those will come in. I'm going to try to block it out. Um, I do have to, because this has really been kind of weighing, hi Wendy, how are you? I wasn't even sure that I was going to mention this, but I, it's like, it's just kind of really with me today and I feel like maybe if I kind of mention it and like talk about it, then I can move on. Um, but there was, uh, I guess uh, they're assuming a girl at Alma High School wrote some kind of a note about shooting up the school today, so at Alma High School. So last night, Cade mentioned something about it. Hi, Karen, good morning. Um, and, you know, as a parent, you know, obviously, you know, all adults need to take these things seriously, but then I thought, you know, if every single time a kid writes some kind of a note, you know, do you send your kid or not to school? So we talked about it and made the decision that he should go to school today. Um, and then a lot of other kids decided not to. So I guess there just are not a lot of kids in school, you know, because, you know, obviously everything that happened in Fort Lauderdale too. And then talking with some other moms this morning at my workout class and they all felt the same way, you know, their kids all went and should they have sent them and then one mom says something about, you know, if I hear sirens, she's going to be kind of freaking out today. So probably 15 minutes ago, I heard sirens and I, you know, your heart drops because Kate had texted me saying, you know, people are saying if something's going to happen, it's going to go down at lunch and I'm heading to lunch soon. So this was all right about his lunchtime when I'm hearing these sirens. So. I am kind of freaking out. And then you know what it turns out to be? Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm getting like, because uh, this is such a bummer for these kids. It is the Alma High School wrestling team. They are heading, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I need to get myself together. They're heading to state competition today. So they're having, like they had a police officer and a fire truck and a whole parade of cars and the and the sirens are going to say, yay guys, this is awesome, you're going to states. They had like a parade through town. That's what the sirens were about. But it's just such a bummer that like, you know, my first thought and probably a lot of other moms and dads and adults in town in Alma here, their first thought was not about the wrestling team and how awesome it is that they're gonna go to state competition this weekend, so. I apologize. I just, oh, here I am thinking if I talk about it, I'm going to get it out, but now I'm not so sure. So anyway, I, oh my gosh, let's move on. Okay, let me, what else can I tell you guys about? Let me like get to the happier place because, oh, this is just craziness. Um, so let's see. Okay. Woo, woo, woo. We have another basketball game last night. Kate played two basketball games this week. They won both of those games. So they only have one more game left. Um, so that is is you know it's they've done really well they've only lost two games out of like the 20 games that they've played so that's fabulous but i'm like a sad mom too because i love watching kate play basketball and there's only one more game next week and then what the heck am i going to tell you guys about right um hopefully there'll be some other fun stuff uh going on i'm thinking you know at some point i got to figure out something exciting in my life to tell you guys about but i have no idea what that is so um the other thing we are heading down to uh toledo today this afternoon after school gets out lily is in a dance competition so we're heading there and okay get this i'm gonna be like bleary eyed monday morning because her last competition dance her solo is at like 7 or 7 30 down in toledo and then awards for that section of dances aren't until like 10 or 10 30 at night in toledo and then we still have to drive home so i keep i'm like lil do we really have to stay for those awards maybe someone can just text you and let you know <laughs> what your award is but she's not having it so Anyway, this weekend is going to be kind of a long weekend in the auditorium, watching lots of dances, but it's always fun to watch her dance. It's all the other people that you don't know about in between everything, which that's what makes it a competition, right, is to have all those other people there dancing too. So anyway, um, let's see what else, what else? Oh, let's just, let's jump right into our first drawing for 
These were, I'm gonna pull them out of the, nope, I guess I'm not, they're in, they're like packaged up. So last week I announced the drawing, if you comment or share on the video that you get your name in the drawing to win the clear faceted gems. Is that what they're called? Yep, clear faceted gems. Okay, so I've got names in my little shaker pumpkin, paper pumpkin thingy here, and I am shaking them around, and I'm gonna draw one of these names out. Let's see, who, oh, I think I have two stuck together, so let me shake them up really well. Okay, I think I've got one paper in my hand. Oh my gosh, Tammy Mitchell. She's, it's so funny how these, the winners kind of go in waves, I feel like, because I think last week her name was drawn for um, a stamp set too. So congratulations, Miss Tammy Mitchell. You won the uh, clear faceted gems. So I'm gonna put those right over here on my table. <clears throat> um, actually, so speaking of paper pumpkin too, here's my little like paper pumpkin, um, I guess it's a trash bag. It's one of those things that like swishes right down and then pops right up. So it's very handy. Um, but okay, and actually I brought my little box, my paper pumpkin box. I just want everybody to know if you're not a subscriber to Paper Pumpkin, now is the time to subscribe because Paper Pumpkin is gonna be celebrating their five year anniversary in March. I cannot believe, I still remember when it was announced at a leadership convention like five years ago um, that they were gonna come out with these awesome kits that they're gonna send in the mail. So this is like, this is what a Paper Pumpkin box looks like, right? So this is a kit that ships you every single month um, but for the month of March because it's their five-year anniversary they're gonna make some like fabulous um, special box to send all the kits out and that's kind of fun you know when they come like different colors and patterns and things they've been doing more of that this past year but the other best part about it is they're gonna include um, a gift so everybody that is subscribing to paper pumpkin is gonna get a special gift in addition to the regular paper pumpkin kit so if you know of anybody that's kind of been thinking about signing up for Paper Pumpkin, tell them to do it now. As long as they, I tell everybody sign up by March 9th and then you'll get the March kit, which is gonna have that free gift in their Paper Pumpkin box too. So um, if you have any questions, let me know. You can just, all you do is go to, it's just paperpumpkin.com and it's super simple. You just put your name, address, some credit card information, and then um, make sure to select a demonstrator. I'd love you to select me, or if, obviously if you work with another demonstrator, make sure you select them, because um, then they get the credit for um, the paper pumpkin sale to you. So let me know if you have any questions on that, but make sure, sign up. You can stop and start whenever you want to. So it's, it, I kind of say it's like a magazine subscription, although it's not, because you're not locked in at all. I mean, you can get it for one month, you can get it for two years, whatever you want to do. You are in charge of that. So hi, Kim, how are you this morning? Hello, hello. Um, let's see, what else, what else? I'm gonna try not to do quite so much talking because I have a bunch of stamping that I wanna do with you guys today. Um, but I do want to mention that um, I always kinda look at what's been happening with um, anybody in my downline in the Inkspired Stampers group. And I wanna give a shout out to Nancy Gulick because she, um, let's see, she had gotten to the status of silver with Stampin' Up! And then every year, uh, I think it's like September 30th, October 1st, they kind of look at kind of if you're performing at your title or not, and then you can get kind of retitled. So she actually got retitled back down to uh, Bronze Elite because her sales weren't quite up there. You have to have $3,600 in rolling 12 month sales to be considered a silver. Um, status and you have to have one recruit. So her sales fell down a little bit. Um, she's got her recruit, so that's awesome. But then with her awesome sales in January, she bumped back up. So now she's back up to her $3,600 in sales. So she reinstated to silver status, which is awesome. Um, so congratulations to Nancy. And then as well, she also got her second recruit, her second new downline member during celebration. So she gets the awesome demonstrator rewards, which is one free stamp set valued up to $25 and 15,000 flex points which I heard someone say the other day that's about, that's like a value of like $140 in free product if you cash your flex points in for the free product. There's lots of stuff you can cash them in for, but most people wanna get the free product. So anyway, um, Deanna Clegg is um, the name of the gal that Nancy brought in as um, her second new recruit. So welcome, uh, Deanna, to our Inspired Stampers group. Uh, we are happy to have you, as always. 
Um, I'm not even gonna talk anymore about the starter kit though. I've put, talked on and on about it the past few weeks. If anybody has any questions, let me know. You still have a little over a month to sign up, but the sooner you do, then the sooner you can start earning those awesome demonstrator benefits during celebration too. So, um, okay, let's see. Now I'm gonna do the other drawing. I love, I love, 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 you guys know this. I love to give stuff away. So I had just two online orders um, this past week. So this was the stamp set we actually showed. I demonstrated a card with this amazing U stamp set last week. And then this is the stamp set that I announced last Friday on our Facebook Live. This is, are you still there? Okay, so I got a phone call from Cade's dad probably asking because Cade kept texting me this morning mom there's nobody here at school come get me there's no reason to be here they're watching movies and stuff and I was Ugh. so I said basically I had to do this Facebook live video so call your dad so he's that's probably what he's calling to talk about but anyway he's he can handle it he's good so okay so we're gonna do this drawing for the amazing new stamp set okay let me I gotta dump out other names and I'm gonna put the two names in here um, actually it's Tammy Mitchell again she put an online order in and then Wendy Drowley also put an online order in last week so I have two little names um, pieces of paper with names on them in here and one of those two lucky ladies is going to be um, the winner of this amazing you stamp set sorry I'm getting a text I gotta swipe that out of the way because that's bugging me okay here we go. Let's see. The winner is Wendy Drowley. I don't know. Can you guys? I always do this and then I don't know if you can really see it. But I always try to make sure that you know I'm on the up and up, right? So Wendy, congratulations. You win the amazing You stamp set. So woo! Yay! I'm going to put your name and little ticket right over there so I don't lose anything. There. And then that helps me clear my table a little bit too. So sorry. I'm out of view for a sec. Um, so I think now I'm actually going to move the camera down so that um, I can show you a bunch of other stuff, okay? So turn your heads away for just a sec and we will get started on some stamping and sharing of projects. Okay, i got to switch the view so that we're good. Hi Amy Jo, welcome. How are you this Friday? Alright, I think we're good there, right? So... The first thing I want to show you guys, because I um, have been forgetting to um, bring these over, but these are the four cards that we're making at the Masculine Stamp Stack. Oh, Wendy says, yay, yes, yay, 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 congratulations. Um, so RSVPs are due today for the Masculine Stamp Stack. I've gone over the last couple of Fridays all the details on these classes, or this class, I should say. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to include the link to... Um, with all the information on the Masculine Stamp Stack class that's happening on Tuesday, March 6th. I'll include that in the comments to this YouTube video. But I wanted to show you real quickly because RSVPs are due today if you are interested in this class. So these are the cards that we are going to be making with um, all the product that you get from the Masculine Stamp Stack class, which the product is this designer series paper, um, this corduroy ribbon, and then the buttons as well. So we're gonna use some of your product on the projects, and then you'll have a bunch of product left over that you can use for other things. And we're actually making 12 cards, so you're gonna make three of each of these cards. Okay, but like I said, I'll include the link with all the details um, in the comments to this YouTube video. So let me know if you have any questions or if you're interested. And <clears throat> I should actually tell you honestly that um, since I'm going to be gone starting like this afternoon, I won't have time to um, put all the orders in for that masculine stamp stack class before I go. So really RSVPs could probably be through this Sunday night. So if you're kind of on the fence and need to think about it for a day or two, as long as you let me know by Sunday, if you want to participate in the masculine stamp stack class, you should be all set. The other one that an RSVP is due today is for that sweet soiree. Um, what's that called? The class to go. So these are the four cards that we're making in that class as well. Again, I've already gone over, so I'm not going to keep talking about these things, but I will include the link with more information um, and the options in terms of ordering if you are interested. This one, RSVPs are due today as well, but again, honestly, if you let me know by Sunday, if you'd like to do this class to go, 
um, awesome, beautiful, gorgeous cards here, then um, we'll get you set up on that one too, okay? <clears throat> what else is coming up? Oh, I just want to let you guys know we're doing the scrapbook class. Um, it's normally the last Tuesday of the month, but next week it's actually going to be on Wednesday so I can get to my son Cade's very last basketball game. It was very gracious of everyone that comes to scrapbook class to let me bump that to Wednesday night. But just so you know, so next month and every month thereafter, scrapbook class is always the last Tuesday of every month. And I'll include the link in the comments uh, with more information about that class as well in case you're interested in making scrapbook pages with us anytime soon. Um, okay, I'm just cruising right along. Oh, so I told you guys last week about a, um, a weekend retreat that I do. I also do a one day crafting retreat right here in Alma. So the weekend retreat is down in Lansing, March 16, 17, and 18. And then the one day retreat is right here in Alma on Saturday, April 21. It runs from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. And I will include the link. I have so many links to, I guess, to uh, share with you guys. Um, but I'll include that link um, in the comments as well. So I won't go through all the details. But this is, I will tell you, these retreats are just a great way to get a ton of work done. And then as well, there's lots of inspiration there for you too. So obviously everybody else is there working on projects and people love to share what they're doing. Um, for this particular retreat, I bring all of my Big Shot supplies, my punches and my stamp sets. So any current Stampin' Up! product that I have, I bring and you are welcome to use that. I don't bring what I call consumables um, to use, so paper and ink um, and embellishments, but kind of any of the non-consumables. Like I said, the Big Shot supplies, punches, and stamp sets. Um, I bring those and you can, you're can you welcome to use those. You also get a goodie bag valued at over $30 um, that you will then be able to use some of that goodie bag stuff on your make and takes that are provided that day. We do lunch and dinner and snacks and kind of have you know food out all day long too so you're never you don't go hungry either um, and then you don't have to worry about that so you just come sit down and work all day long and it is a wonderful event um, okay the last thing I want to tell you guys about is something that I call celebration celebration so this is basically a party that I throw in April for anyone that qualifies for the celebration celebration these are the ways that you qualify. If you host a private class or a party and have sales of at least $250 at that party, the main reason why you wanna to get to $250 in sales is because that is where Stampin' Up! gives the boost on the host reward. So typically, um, any other time of year with a $250 order, you'd get $25 in free host benefits. During celebration, they kick in another $25. So you get at least $50 in host rewards with a $250 party. And it's really not easy to do, or not, excuse me, it's easy. It's not difficult to do because everybody wants to get celebration stuff. So most everybody that comes puts in that $50 order so they can get the celebration freebie. And then all of those add up to probably at least $250 in sales for you. So that's one way you can earn your spot into the celebration celebration. The next way you can earn your way in is if you purchase the starter kit. And that is when you pick $125 in product plus two free stamp sets and only pay $99 plus sales tax. The third way that you can earn your spot into celebration celebration is when you spend at least $150 during celebration. So I have a spreadsheet that I keep track. Anybody that puts an order in between January through March, when you accumulate up to $150, then you also earn your way into the party, the celebration celebration. Now what happens at the party? Well, basically I love to spoil you. So I've got snacks and treats, we have specials. I put up my buy one, get one free product. Um, hopefully I'll be able to show sneak peeks at new annual catalog product because um, at that time that's usually about when uh, demonstrators are able to start ordering maybe a, a few things out of the new annual catalog. We do stamping and make and takes. I have an awesome gift that I'm going to give to everybody and then we do games with prizes and lots of fun stuff. So it is just a fabulous event and it's free to anybody that earns their way 
uh, to come to that. So let me know if you have any questions. And if you're wondering, I'm going to, um, next week I'm going to get updated and put um, information out there as far as who's already earned their spot um, in, or if you need to know how close you are, say in um, orders, I can let you know that too. So that's next week after I get back from this dance competition. Okay. Um, let's see. I got to check my notes here. Bear with me just a sec. Um, I think I am ready to show you guys. So <clears throat> there was a demonstrator um, that posted in one of the Facebook groups that I'm on. Um, does anybody want to get a Valentine's Day card? And basically a whole bunch of demonstrators signed up to say, yeah, I think that would be really fun. So the idea was she picked names and so I got the name of a person and I made a Valentine card and sent it to her. And then this is the one that I received from the gal that got my name. So um, her name is, I think she wrote on the inside here, it says, Dear Amy, wishing you a very happy Valentine's Day. Happy Stampin'. And this is from Bonnie Allers O'Neill. So I know it's past Valentine's Day, but <laughs> I tell you what, I loved, I still love this suite of products so much. Um, and I wish that that we could still play with them and still, you know, make all these awesome Valentines. Because I love that stamp. I didn't even, there. I always see things after the fact. Does that happen to you guys too? I mean, I guess you can still play with things. But from my standpoint, I'm wanting to show them, you know, so that people might like to order these things. And since it's past Valentine's Day, I tend to not show a lot of Valentine stuff. But I never even used this stamp like this. And I love that with the outline there. And then the heart, and she actually, can you guys see if I get real close? She embossed this with our um, white embossing powder and then obviously, well, stamped it and embossed and then die cut it with the heart and then that other pretty heart that goes around there. And then, and I forgot to mention this too, so this is perfect timing actually. <coughs> can you guys see? This is our shimmer ribbon, the Calypso Coral Shimmer Ribbon that is part of the, okay. Um, I feel like, I wish I could just answer that and say, I can't talk right now. <laughs> I'll, I'll have to call that person back in just a little bit. So anyway, this is part of the ribbon combo pack um, that you can get for free during celebration with a $50 order. So this is one of the colors, Calypso Coral. It also comes in uh, Bermuda Bay and in uh, basic gray. And you're actually gonna see both of those other colors of ribbon a little bit later. Um, but the other thing I wanna point out to you guys, do you see the pearls that she used on here? These are, she colored them. I'm sure she used probably, I don't know, one of our markers or maybe the new Stampin' Blends and she colored those um, pearls to match then the card itself. I thought, what a cool idea. I've done that, but it's been a long time. So it's always fun to get new ideas from people or reminders of old ideas that would be fun to use again. But what I, what I meant to mention was, so that ribbon right there, that is what I'm going to be giving away with this week's commenting and sharing of our Facebook Live video. So it is a bolt of the Calypso Coral, and I, I brought some more because I far didn't remember that I had that on a card but this is the beautiful shimmer ribbon. So if you comment or share this video today, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win this bolt of ribbon. So make sure you do that. I love, I'm always curious to hear what, um, especially celebration products you've been playing with, maybe what your favorite celebration product is. That would be a great comment that you could leave on our video this week. So make sure to do that and then your name goes in the drawing. We'll do that drawing next week for that ribbon. <clears throat> okay, let's see. What else? What else? Oh, okay. So last week I had been hoping that my celebration brochures and some of the new product that's available, I was really, I kind of kept looking out the window hoping maybe the UPS man would come, but he didn't. He didn't come until after I left for class even. So I wasn't able to show you guys last week, so I thought I'm going to take this opportunity to show you this week. So these are the additional items that just came out. So last Friday they became available February 16, and they're good all the way through the end of March, so March 31. I will tell you though that on the back of this brochure, and I'm sure the other one, that they, in kind of small print, they mention that product availability 
may be limited towards the end of the promotional sales period. So basically what that means is if you want anything from Celebration, get it as soon as possible. Hi, Mary, how are you? Just so you don't miss out on it. Because I know that did definitely happen last year where people waited till the last minute and they wanted um, you know, the paper or the ribbon or whatever and sometimes it sells out. So get it as soon as you can. Um, oh, Karen says, I didn't realize you could color the pearls, that that's a neat idea. Yeah, and actually you can color the rhinestones too. We used to use Sharpie markers, um, and obviously, you know, those come in bunches of colors, so that's a great way to do it. But I do wonder if our new Stampin' Blends, if those would work also. We might have to try those. So, okay, back to the additional items. And they do kind of give you a preview of them um, on here. So... This is some of the designer series paper that is available, and I'll show you that in a sec. This is one of the stamp sets that's available now. And then actually this basket <coughs> shows another stamp set. And then this embossing folder. Can you guys see that basket weave it's called? Okay, so let's take a look at what we have in here. And actually I'm gonna kind of flip this open just like this, so hopefully you can see. So this is the first one that's available. It is the Eclectic Expression Stamp Set. And I'm gonna show you a card that I made. Um, I am trying to get this, well, I made a card and then I made a video and now I'm trying to get it uploaded to YouTube. And sometimes that is not the easiest thing in the world to do. So I'm gonna show you guys the card and then just tell you to watch my YouTube channel because you'll be able to see exactly how I made that soon as soon as I can get it uploaded anyway. So, but these are other projects that Stampin' Up! shows that you could make, so possible ideas um, of projects that you could make with that Eclectic Expressions stamp set. And this is a great, like you kind of look at it and you're like, what's up with all these like smudges and splotches and stuff? But if you guys remember, we had a stamp set called Gorgeous Grunge, and this one is really kind of similar to that where you just, um, they add a really nice kind of background effect to lots of projects. So, you know, on their own, they're not necessarily like, you know, that wowing, I guess. But once you put them on a project, you'll see how much fun they are to use and play with. You kind of get the idea on that card, if I can get close enough right there, with some of those kind of water splotches and things, um, the idea with um, some of those stamps there. Okay, so the other thing I want to show you is, this is the next one, and this is free with the $50 purchase, so is that stamp set that I just showed you. This is the Springtime Foils Specialty Designer Series Paper. And I'm gonna try to get right up in there. So it's just a really pretty, um, I think, let's see, what does it say? Spring-inspired paper foil designs. You get 12 sheets, three each of four single-sided designs. So there's no back on them. The, because they're the foil, they tend to not um, put another pattern on the back of them. And it says the colors, this is what I was wondering about. It says gold foil, rose gold foil, and silver foil. So those are gonna be very pretty. That rose gold is so popular right now. So I'm gonna be very, I don't have that paper. So I think it's gonna be coming like early next week. So I'll be able to show you guys that paper next week too, okay? Then the last item that's available, and it's actually a bundle. I'm gonna kinda of come back down here a little bit so you can see there's a stamp set and an embossing folder. And this one has the red medallion. So that is free with a $100 purchase that you get this stamp set. Can you see? So there's that really pretty basket with the you are loved and here for you sentiments and then the little hearts and butterfly. Okay, and then it also has um, that embossing folder. Well, I guess I'll come over here. There's the embossing folder, right? They're calling this the Blossoming Basket Stamp Set and the Basket Weave Dynamic Textured Impressions Embossing Folder because it's one of the thick embossing folders. That is such a mouthful. Basically, it's the Basket Weave Embossing Folder, but it's the thick one, so it creates, and you can kind of, can you guys kind of see all the levels that it creates? So it's not just one, I always say, it's not just one level of embossing. It's kind of like, you know, some is deeper and some is not quite as deep. So it's a very, very pretty. Um, so that is also available. And then on the back, you'll see, so that's kind of the front. 
and I'll just lay this down here. But this is kind of a quick summarization of all of the other products that are available during celebration. So they did a really nice job with this brochure. And then they even kind of list them out. So the blue medallions all mean free with a $50 purchase. And then the, there are those two that are free with a $100 purchase. Okay? So check those out. You've got some new, if you thought you had everything you wanted during celebration, maybe not, because there's some awesome stuff in here too. So let me show you, I think I was just telling you about the card that I made. And actually I'll show you. So I have, these are the things I have right now. The Eclectic Expression stamp set. <clears throat> and then this is that basket weave embossing folder. So can you see, it's one of those really super thick embossing folders that does kind of that basket weave. And I actually use, well this one still looks like a basket on this side, but I'm gonna show you on the card, you guys can see if you can um, see this also. I use the opposite side. So here is the card that I was saying. So this is the one that I um, made a video on and eventually it's gonna be on YouTube. It will happen. Sometimes technology is not my friend. <laughs> so, it, and honestly, that's sometimes why, you know, I think I'm going to do a video every single week. And then sometimes it's just not quite as easy as I need it to be. So anyway, that's all right. We'll, we'll get it uploaded so you'll be able to see. But I use the back side of the embossed piece of paper so it doesn't really look like a basket, but it's just kind of got this really cool texture to it and then I stamp those background stamps and then I put a little bit of washi tape there too along with the happy birthday. So for me, I thought this was a, an awesome masculine birthday card. Um, we are at my other job, it's predominantly men because it's a manufacturing facility where I work. Um, I'm an accountant too, I don't know if I've ever told you guys that, but I do like all of the, um, well, accounting, financial statements, HR, payroll, all that kind of stuff for these other companies that I work for. But my point in telling you this is we are giving out birthday cards to everybody, um, you know, when it's their birthday, right? And so I am always in need of masculine birthday cards to give to these guys. So I think I'm going to make a whole bunch of these. This is going to be, this will be a good one that I can put in my rotation of birthday cards for everybody. So, um, but again, watch for the YouTube video. And you know what? If you search for the stamp studio name, Gathering Inspiration, um, find that on YouTube, then just become a subscriber. And then anytime I upload a new video, they'll email you the link to see the video. So then you never miss out on anything. The other thing that will happen is if you miss a Facebook Live video, I put all of those on YouTube as well. So again, you'd get a notification and then you can watch that anytime too. So if you ever miss us live, because I know 1130 on Friday is not the easiest for people, um, that's another great way to uh, catch the Facebook Live video is over on YouTube. So watch for that video soon, I promise. Okay. Um, Let's see. Oh, all right. So guess what? This is awesome. We are ready to do our stamping. I was saying that I had a bunch of stamping that I wanted to do. And so I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to get a quick sip of water too, though. Okay. So these are actually, I'm going to show you one at a time because I'm really afraid I'm, there are a whole bunch of like little parts and pieces for each of these cards. But I will tell you in advance, these are the cards that we made this week at our Inkspired Stampers group gathering. So every month we make four make and takes and put them together at that um, group meeting that we have. We do a bunch of other swapping and sharing with show and tell and we have creative challenges and business challenges and we do some um, kind of business talking as well um, for people that are interested in that. And you never know, even though you, you know, if you buy the starter kit and you think, oh, I'm never going to do it as a business, you never know when an idea might spark in you that you think, hey, I could do that too. So they're just a great resource for people. And then they're lots of fun to do our stamping with also. Um, so I actually need to grab my grid paper now that I'm thinking about it. But we are going to make these, we're going to do all four of the cards um, from our group gathering this week. So let me grab my grid paper and I've got, oops, that's upside down. We're going to turn that like that, right? I meant to do this embossing first, so I think I might do that. I'm going to do that and then I'll, I'll tell you more about, um, well, hold on. I got to get this lined up, don't I? Let's get this centered so everybody can see what's going on, right? 
Okay, so I'm gonna grab my big shot. Let me scoot, I'm gonna scoot this stuff over here, don't I? Get this in the, in the video, right? So this is what we're doing first, because then I can sit down and do all of my stamping, put everything together. So we are gonna emboss. This is a so saffron cardstock. So we have our card base, and then I'm gonna do this embossing on a separate piece of so saffron cardstock, okay? So let's grab this embossing folder, and I've got my Big Shot platform. I've got my two clear pieces there. <clears throat> Okay, so I've got my one clear piece underneath and I'm gonna, this is one that you do really need to be careful and get it lined up well because you don't want your stripes, I mean I guess if you wanted them kind of going haywire or a little diagonal or something that would be all right, but I want mine to be straight so I have to be careful to get those lined up properly. Okay, so we're cranking this through and that is literally, you're gonna see, we're gonna use a whole bunch of punches but that is the only big shot work that we need to do on all of these projects, which I love that sometimes, just to be able to sit down and put things together and not have to crank through the big shot. I'm not saying I don't like the big shot, but sometimes I wanna be a little bit lazy and not have to do that. So today's the day for that. So what I wanna show you, because all of these cards were inspired by this stamp set called A Good Day, okay? So this is a stamp set that is in our occasions catalog. Oh my gosh, UPS was just here. It was so funny, I'm like, I feel like somebody's at the door and I kinda, I kinda heard something, but okay, good. So it's not, I was like, oh no, is someone gonna interrupt my Facebook Live video? But it's just UPS dropping off, probably another Stampin' Up box, so I'm gonna be excited to go check that out later. Okay, I did not mark this page, and let's see if I'm gonna get lucky at all flipping through here to show you. Oh, yes, I am. Okay, good. So in our occasions catalog, this is the stamp set that we used on all of these make and takes. This stamp set is called A Good Day, and it's just a really nice, versatile, kind of with cute spring um, animals, I guess I would say. Um, so there's a little bunny and a burgundy and a little, oh, is it a deer? <laughs> I'm going to say a deer. And then the other really cool, and then a bunch of sentiments too, right? But the really fun part about this is our new punches that coordinate with this stamp set. So the scallop circle punches that come in a one and one eighth inch scallop and a one and three eighth inch scallop. So you can see, I'll show you, here's kind of the difference in size, right? So do you see how those are kind of they're almost yellowed out, right? So this is the smaller one and one eighth inch, and then this is the little bit larger one and three eighth inch uh, scallop circle punch. So they, you can punch out all of these things really, other than, well, probably that one would fit. I don't know about that. Here's to a good day. That might not quite fit. But that's the stamp set that inspired these make and takes, and then all of the punches, the two there, and then we're gonna use a bunch of other punches too. So let me show you. I think we can go ahead and kind of start putting things together. All right. Um, let's see, I've got my adhesive. I'm trying to make sure that I have everything that I need. But I think we are ready to go. So for this card, I'm going to kind of stand it up right there so I can see what I'm doing, make sure I have everything that I need. Okay, so I've got some white cardstock. And can you see, I'm going to stamp it two times the same stamp. I'm gonna get my, this is my black memento ink because we are coloring this in just a little bit with our stamp and blends markers. And you always wanna use this tuxedo black memento ink when you're working with your stamp and blends markers because it will not bleed. The water-based ink um, could bleed when you use your blends marker. So you wanna make sure to use the right one. Let me make sure this one says just for you. Yep. Okay. So we are going to stamp this. I had that there just to kind of show you guys visually. So we're going to stamp it two times. We're going to stamp once right there. And then we're going to stamp it one more time right there. Okay. Scoot that guy out of the way. 
Let's do our coloring. So these are the new blends markers. I did a video recently with a beautiful butterfly. So if you haven't watched that yet on YouTube, check that out. Because this one probably isn't going to do it justice quite so much. Um, uh, the, the use of the blends because we're just coloring. And that was the idea too, because at the meeting, um, you know, we don't want, we don't want to have to do too much coloring, right? So can you see, I am just kind of trying to fill in. I'm going to have to spin this around a little bit. So I've got the more um, pointy tip of the marker, I would say, and I am going to color. That's why it's not really mattering to me that, you know, that I'm kind of coming into the middle of this because I am going to color that all in because we're going to punch this guy out and then layer the sentiment on top of that. And if you're not remembering what I mean, I'm going to show you in just a sec after I do my coloring. So you can see this is pretty quick and simple to get that image colored. Now I'm going to use, so that was the skinnier tip of the marker. Now I'm going to use the fatter tip just to color this all in. And these markers are wonderful. There. Okay, so that's that for that one. Now we're going to do our punching. So for the sentiment, I've got my, this is my one inch circle punch. And I'm just going to, i got to tip that up so I can see it. We're just going to punch that guy out right there. Okay. And then this one, I am going to use my, I think it's my one and a quarter. Now where did it go? <laughs> I thought I had ever, I do, I have everything right here. So here. Is this it? Let's see. I don't know if this is... Nope, I think I want my one and three eight. We're gonna use this one. It was a little bit confusing. Yeah, that looks like the right one. Well, not at class, because I had them all separated, but, but for me, I have, if you could see, I have punches everywhere now, and which ones do I need for which card? But I think I've got it under control here. Okay, the other thing that we are going to do, so we've got our doily right there too. We are gonna punch using this is the triple banner punch so i've got this is a two inch wide piece of paper i'll tell you these measurements oh that's the other thing here i am like moving right along not even telling you guys this was an awesome idea that i saw so i have to tell you guys about this before i even punch this because it just popped into my brain funny how that stuff works right okay so um let me see, I gotta swipe this out of the way. This is the original celebration brochure. So have you guys, if you haven't really noticed or paid attention, I think these will get your attention now, how we're using them. So these are the 2D fruity cards and envelopes. Um, so free item with a $50 purchase during celebration. And it's hard to see in this um, little brochure, but they've got some yellow, some lemon lime twists. So that's so saffron pool party and calypso coral. They've got card bases and then they've got cute envelopes that coordinate with them. So what did we do? We cut up our card bases and use them as designer series paper. So the, the and then the envelopes are going to work perfectly with these cards as well that I'm showing you. So this piece right here as I was showing you um uh, sorry, <laughs> I keep getting these texts and I have to keep swiping them away because I want to be able to see what we're doing here. It's a crazy day, I think. Um, so anyway, I went to show you this is not designer series paper. It is one of the 2D fruity card bases. So this was cut, the card base itself. So it was it was like this kind of a thing, but then I cut it to make designer series paper. So Let's see, do we have somebody new? Is that Rosa? Hi, Rosa, how are you? I'm glad you're here to join us today. Okay, so this piece of cardstock slash Tutti Frutti note card measures two inches by four and three quarter inches. And we are gonna punch this out. It's a, so it's a two inch wide, so it fits perfectly right inside here. So we're gonna push that in, make sure it's all the way in. We're gonna punch that, okay? Then this is the awesome glimmer paper. This is Bermuda Bay, and this one measures, let me make sure that, can you guys see? Yep, I'm still in view, good. So this one measures one inch by four and a half inches, okay? Um, oh, this glimmer paper, there's this color, there is some lemon lime twist, and there is 
uh, kind of a, a pearly white, probably like a dazzling diamonds. And this is all, so it's, let me see if I can find that, because it's kind of one of those that you may miss. It's in our occasions catalog. And it's with the kind of, oh, the magic suite is what I always like to call it. Yeah, the myths and magic, yeah. I, I can see how this could get overlooked, but it's this glimmer paper right here. So the Bermuda Bay Lemon Lime Twist, and what are they calling? They're just calling it, well, they're calling it iridescent. So it's kind of a white. They're all very, very pretty. Um, and we're using a couple of those on these projects today. So with this Bermuda Bay Glimmer paper piece, this is one inch wide, so we're just gonna slip this in here. It might be a little bit wider because I'm not, I'm not getting it in quite right. That's okay though. Okay, so punch that guy out. I think we need that punch again later, so I'm gonna keep him close by. And now I think that we can do our assembling of our card. I think, I think, I think. I'm like, okay, yeah, I guess if, if, if I need to do anything else, I'll do it as we go. So I've got my embossed piece that I did a little while ago with that simple stripe, I think it's called the stripe embossing folder. Uh-oh, did I? Oh, okay, this is a good lesson. So this is my fast fuse and it's gotten a little stuck on probably some old adhesive. So you wanna advance it forward with your finger, make sure it feels sticky, and then run it again. And you're back to good as new. This is our card base. <clears throat> So this is one of um, a card base that I made that started out with our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. This one I cut in half at four and a quarter inches and then scored it in half at five and a half inches. Okay, so we'll get that right there. We're gonna put this guy. So our striped piece, we're just gonna layer right on top of here, okay? Then we are gonna add our doily. I'm gonna put a little bit of just my regular snail adhesive on there. And I'm gonna put my doily, I'm gonna to try to kind of center him, maybe right about there, okay? And then put some adhesive on the back of that Tutti Frutti note card base that we turned into our designer series paper. I love that idea. So cute. And then here's our glimmer paper. This one you have to be, all right, good, I'm getting it. Because it's um, it's kind of slidey, I don't know how, how else to put it. Um, it's a little bit hard to get adhesive to stick on here, but that fast fuse worked pretty well. So now we're gonna add that guy right about there, okay? Next, we are gonna put some more adhesive on the back of our little piece that we colored, right? And then we're gonna put a dimensional on the back of this guy and pop him up right in the center there. And then we've got this super cute Just For You card. Isn't that fun? So the last thing that we're gonna do, I have this is my uh, Bermuda Bay Shimmer Ribbon that's part of that combo pack of ribbon um, that you can get for free during celebration. Okay, so I'm making my bow. I got that kind of curled up here, let's see. Ooh, this is why I was thinking I didn't need glue dots so I didn't bring them over, but now I want a glue dot. Oh well, that's okay. That's still all curled up. Oh, you guys will forgive me, right? Okay, so I'm gonna trim my bow, and darn, now I really want my glue dot. What am I gonna do? Well, that's gonna go right there with the glue dot because it's not gonna stick on with that glimmer paper, it's not gonna stick on with anything else. So I'm not gonna even try. The snail and the fast fuse would probably not even stick to my glimmer paper, but that would go right there. Okay, so you guys get the idea. So that's the first card. And I have three more cards that I'm gonna show you, all kind of featuring um, a lot of the same products, but all with very different looks. Okay, so that's the first one. The next one, let me show you this guy. Can you see? Um, yes. More text, sorry ladies, the very distracting day, I apologize. Okay, so this is the next card. Again, it features more of that Tutti Frutti, the note, another note card, and then this actually uses some of the, I think, is it, I think it's the Tutti Frutti Designer Series paper. 
that has, you know, the this one, what are those? Lemon, lime, oranges, probably cantaloupes. Um, not cantaloupes, but um, grapefruit. So cute, super, super, super cute paper on here also. And, ooh, and then this, I already punched this out, but this one, I think it measures one and three quarter. Yep, this is a one and three quarter inch circle that I've already punched, and it's gonna go right on there if you can see that. This is some of, I call it lemon lime twist glimmer paper. I think they just called it maybe green in the catalog, but that's that paper right there, okay? Um, so let's see, let's see. We are gonna do a little bit of stamping and a little tiny bit of coloring again. This time, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this one right out of the way so I don't even try to reach for it, because this one looks pretty similar. This is my stamp that says Just Because, and I am gonna use some Calypso Coral ink for this one. So nice, easy, or tap, tap, tap. Oops, I might have moved that out of view. Make sure you guys can still see that, okay? There, so we're gonna stamp our Just Because on there, and I'm gonna let that sit for a sec because this one is our water-based ink, and if you can see in here, I did color inside of those little guys, but I'm gonna do that probably one of the last things here because with the water-based ink, I don't want it to smear um, when I color it. So let's put everything else together and then we'll come back and I'll actually do that coloring, okay? So I'm gonna move that guy right up there, moving that stamp out of the way. We are gonna punch, this is the Starburst Punch, and I just have a strip of Calypso Coral cardstock, so I'm just gonna punch that guy out and move him out of the way. I've already got my other piece, so I think we are ready to put things together. I'll show you again, as always. Right, here's another eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. Okay, this is a pretty standard where I cut it in half at five and a half, and then I scored it in half at four and a quarter inches, okay? Then this is another one of those tutti fruity note cards, just the base itself, and I cut it down to four inches by five and a quarter inches. And then this strip of Tutti Fruity Designer Series paper measures two inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? And actually, before we put things together, I put a little bow just around this piece of Designer Series paper. So I'm gonna show you that, okay? So this is the Lemon Lime Twist, what are they calling this? Oh, a mini striped ribbon. And this is, I think it's on the same page with all the other Tutti Fruity, like the designer series paper and that cute little fruit basket stamp set and those little punches too that go with the fruit. So to make your bow, and I'm trying to show this as many times as I can because I want people to see how to do this. Um, so you're gonna take the short working end, put it over kind of this long piece, and then you're just gonna flip that little tail right through that hole. And I'm kind of keeping my finger in there to keep that hole open because then when I lay it down on the card and I flip it around, okay, I'm just gonna hold it right there with my finger. And this might be a little bit long, but I can trim this. Ooh, these aren't the right scissors for this. That's not gonna cut. I need my ribbon scissors. Those are back at, in my craft room. We'll get those later. Okay, so then this piece that I just trimmed goes right through that hole that I was keeping with my finger. And then that little piece was the working end that I was kind of holding on to, and then that just kind of flips around in there. So there is our bow. I'm gonna trim that later because I don't have my scissors, but you can see how it makes that, it's not all like squinched up really tight when you make the bow like that. So watch that and practice it. It took me making one card, like 50 of them, before I finally figured out how to make that bow. But if you just keep watching and practicing, and I'm gonna to try to demonstrate that as many times as I can too, so you guys can get that bow, because I love, I love making that bow. It looks good every single time. And if it doesn't, just pull it apart and start it again, okay? So this piece is gonna go right on our, what's this called, Tutti Fruity card base. I'm forgetting my name there for a sec. I think that's about where I want that, right? So we're gonna put that on there, there, okay? Then we're gonna add some more adhesive on the back of this guy. This one right on here, and then here's our card base itself. 
Now that's bugging me. I think I am going to have to run and get those scissors because I want you guys to see it, how awesome it is when it's done. Yep, I'm going to do that. I'm running to get th those scissors real quick. I'll be right back. thing. No, there's a lot of stuff out here. One of these days I'm going to have to. Oh, thanks, Mary. I am, I'm glad you enjoyed these cards. Thank you very much. And you were at the meeting the other night, so this is no surprise for you, but maybe you're learning some new tricks on how to put things together. Um, I think there's always something that we can learn watching these videos. Okay, so now we are going to put the rest of our pieces together. So I've got that medallion that I punched out with my Calypso Coral cardstock. I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna put some more adhesive on my lemon lime twist. That was the one and three quarter inch circle. Oops, here. I didn't feel like that was centered quite right. I gotta move that over there. That looks good. Okay, now we are going to grab our, this is the Calypso Coral, the lighter Calypso Coral marker, and I am going to use my skinny tip again, and I am just going to color in these teeny tiny little doodads here. I thought it just kind of added a little something fun to this. Plus, I like coloring. I have forgotten how kind of soothing and relaxing. Am I putting everybody to sleep by how soothing and relaxing the coloring is? Hopefully not. Um, but it is just, because you can't, you can't do a lot of talking. You have to really, for me anyway, I have to concentrate, which always helps me kind of calm down right? A little bit. Okay, so that's it. Colored that little guy in with our Calypso Coral light Calypso Coral marker. And then I believe this is a one and a half inch circle punch. So we're going to line that guy up, punch him out. Okay. And then we're going to put a couple of dimensionals behind him and we're going to pop him on the card. So you see how kind of quick and easy these cards come together and they make a great little gift set too because they all kind of coordinate together. I'll show you that at the end. Um, but they make a really cute gift, you know, to give somebody with these note cards. I have the envelopes, of course, they're down at the studio, but they are the same type of design on the flap of the envelope as um, the card base itself. So they would be super cute to go together with these cards. So that's our second card. We've got a couple more to show you. This next one right here, oh, we did. We used all of the glimmer paper and all the colors. So this is that kind of white glimmer paper on here. This is the same card base, that eight and a half by 11 piece of card stock that we cut in half at the five and a half and scored it at the four and a quarter. You guys are, I'm sure, getting that by now, right? Okay, then what else? Um, let me show you, ooh, our silver. Do I have that? Not silver, but the basic gray. This is the shimmer, the basic gray shimmer ribbon, okay? That we are going to, what I did, oh, I did put it on. Huh, back up a little bit. Let me tell you the dimension on this one here, okay? This is another one of those Tutti Frutti note card bases that measures two inches by five and a half inches. So I'm gonna add this right on to my card itself. Okay, I'm gonna put him maybe right about there. Now, this is why I was kind of hesitating because I want to, can you see, I'm gonna wrap this ribbon. Uh, here, let me show you on this one. I'm gonna wrap, <laughs> I get everything all like tied up on itself. Oh, that's the end of the bolt too. So we're just pulling that guy off. That'll be easier to work with. Okay, so I kind of did like a cheater bow type of thing here. Ooh, am I gonna have enough? Let me make sure. So a little trick, you don't even have to bring that all the way over because you're gonna put your embellishment over top, okay? So that probably, does that look good? Cause then I'm gonna, you see how that's gonna hide that little bit right there? Okay, so I'm just gonna run this so that then I can add it on. I'm gonna put, Probably wanted 
I go, I want that in the middle. I think it's in the middle. <laughs> Hopefully, close enough. Okay, and then we're gonna wrap this guy. Ooh, that doesn't look even, does it? Okay, scoot him over there, okay. There, I think that's good, okay? So that's step one. Why don't, while I'm at it, let's make our bow, okay? So we've got our one bunny ear, we flip this over, I am gonna have just enough, and then pop that guy through the loop to make our bow. Well, I should have grabbed my glue dots when I went to get those scissors, I wasn't thinking, because I need another glue dot. This one, maybe I can use my fast fuse. Okay, so we're kind of pulling that where we like. And then we're gonna trim things off just a little bit. There, okay, so we're gonna set that bow aside because I don't need that quite yet. I got a little ahead of myself on that one. Okay, I'm moving the card over there. So this right here is that, the kind of white, I'm gonna call it Dazzling Diamonds. You guys have to see this though, because it's, when I get really close, Rosa says, hi, y'all. That's very cute. Oh, my gosh. So can you see all the colors that are, it's like lots of like blues and greens and pinks and purples that are shimmering around in there. It is just gorgeous glimmer paper. I have so much fun with this. So this is, oh, my gosh, this is the label punch. I can't remember what it's called, but it's the one that came out in the holiday catalog that has carried over. So I'm thinking it's probably going to end up in the annual catalog, too. Next, next annual catalog, I guess I should say. So we punched that label out. We are also going to, with our one and three quarter inch circle punch, we are gonna get a circle with a basic gray cardstock, okay? And then one more, we need to do our stamping. Again, with our, uh, actually, no, I didn't use this one. I used my basic gray ink for my thank you so much stamp. So aren't these so cute? So here are my tap, 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 and I'm gonna press straight down and lift straight up. Okay, that looks good. And then with that fun scallop circle of punch that has not escaped me, good, good, good. So the one and three eighth inch scallop circle punch, that's the new one that coordinates. You can see the others right on here that we punched previously at class. I'm gonna get that centered and then pop him up there also, okay? All right, now we can put things together, right? So we've got our fast, ooh, oh, there. That's what you're not supposed to do. I did not flick my wrist enough. Get that put back on there too. Okay, gonna put that. We're gonna cover up that little bit so you won't even know. And then it kind of holds the ribbon right in place too, right? And then I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of my basic gray circle, whoops, and put, I'm gonna center him. That looks pretty good, right? And then some dimensionals on the back of this guy. Okay, add those to our card. So you can see all the nice sentiments that are on this stamp set. So far, we have done this thank you so much we did, what else? We have a just because and a just for you. So those are all great. They're really generic too, you know, so you can use them for lots and lots of different occasions. And then I just put that bow, let's see if I can add a little bit of, I can do that, right? Put a little fast fuse. If I had my glue dots, that's probably would have been my preference. And then I just put my bow right there like that. So, oh, one more thing. Let's see, do I have, I was noticing these are, the, are they the Tutti Frutti? Tutti Frutti adhesive backed sequins. And on these cards, we actually put three of these kind of light blue sequins. I'm seeing I only have two of them. So that's all we're gonna do. We're gonna put one right there and they've got a glue dot on the back of them. So you just kind of pick them up off the paper and pop them on. So there we go, aren't those fun? And they come in a bunch of other colors too. You guys have to see all of these, right? So, and again, they've got those glue dots. Oh, Nikki, I agree. I love that glimmer paper too. So these are kind of an orange. And then we've got, so I'll show you the difference. These are a little more yellow. And then I think these would be considered, they do get a little stuck to themselves. You have to be a little bit careful. Um, these I would consider lemon lime twist. And then these are maybe like a bright pink, maybe a berry burst. 
Um, they they kind of go, you know, they'll 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 tend whatever color you need them to be. They'll kind of go that way for you. So one more card. Yay, I'm having so much fun. I typically, you know, I realize, gosh, I talk a lot. So I'm happy to be stamping with you guys more today than um, talk. Well, I always talk, right? Somebody said that. Um, I think I was saying I'm not totally comfortable talking in front of people, but I think on a camera, <laughs> I feel like I kind of think there's nobody listening or watching, so it's a lot easier to talk. Uh, okay, so same card base again, our eight and a half by 11 cardstock, cut in half at five and a half, scored in half at four and a quarter, okay? Make our fold. This time we have another little piece of the Tutti Frutti note card that measures one inch by five and a half inches, okay? And then another, this is the Calypso Coral card base, and then this one measures four inches by five and a quarter inches, okay? Let's see, did I? I did put that all the way around. Okay, so we're gonna add this piece right to our card base, or not our card base, but this piece of, ooh, no, you know what, I can't do that. I'm looking at that, though it was a little bit too wide. So forget that. We're gonna put this piece of Tutti Frutti note card turn designer series paper on our Calypso Coral card base. Okay, so I'm gonna put this guy right on here. I'll show you what, what I was seeing. I was thinking this was the same width, but it's actually as wide as my card base itself. So I needed to wait and put that on there, okay? Now we're gonna do, yeah, let's do it now. We're gonna do another bow. I'll show you again how to make that bow. I was saying I was gonna show it the other night at our meeting, and then I had talked for, for or we all, well, me mainly, but we, uh, we had talked a lot. So I was like, okay, forget it. I'm not showing you how to do the bow, so I'm glad. I'm gonna take the opportunity right now to show you guys again how to make that bow. That Can you see, so when you pull on it, it never squinches up because of how you make the bow. You cannot make that super kind of ugly tight knot. I don't know why those bother me so much. I guess because now I know how to make one that doesn't do that. Okay, so you've got your ribbon. You got your short working end in your right hand and then the rest in your left hand. Okay, so you take that short tail, flip it over, kind of that breast cancer bow, if you will, and then that little short working end you put through that loop. And then I put my finger right in there to kind of hold that loop open for me. I think it's easiest to just put all of this kind of right on your card or whatever you're working on. We're gonna loop this around. And where are my scissors? I like my big ribbon cutting scissors, right? And then we're gonna cut that guy there. Scoop my ribbon out of the way. Okay, now we lay this down in that hole that I've been holding open, that piece that I just cut goes through there and then that short working end that I had looped in there I pull that back around and sometimes I don't know it gets a little rolled around or something but you can usually kind of maneuver it so that it looks good okay so we want to oops move that up a little bit on our card base and then just kind of carefully slide it over until you get it where you like and then Snip that end off there. There, so we've got our beautiful bow every single time. Those edges are bugging me though, so I gotta trim those a little bit. Let's see, I must not have sliced through there quite so well. There, okay. So we've got our bow. You know, I could play with this forever, so we're not gonna do that though, right? Um, so our stamping, now let's do, we've got a little bit of stamping to do on this guy also. So I've got, some strips of Whisper White and Pool Party cardstock. I need my little birdie. So here's this little birdie guy in my black memento ink. So I'm gonna tap, tap, tap. I'm gonna press straight down and lift straight up. I've got my little birdie. And then I need, this one says, hello friend. And I'm gonna tap, tap, tap right on here. Press straight down. Oop, it's upside down, but that's okay. Now it's the right way. But I got a little heavy handed on my H. Let's see if I can do that again without, there, that's better. Okay, those skinny stamps, they tend to be a little bit, a little bit harder to make them look perfect like I like them to look. Okay, 
So here we go. We're going to punch. This is, I think it's called the classic label punch. Perfect little, actually I want to scoot that over a little bit because I'm going to add a little something fun to that other little edge. Okay, so there's that guy right there. Now let's punch out one of our one and three eighth inch scallop circle punches out of this piece of pool party cardstock, okay? And then we are gonna color a little birdie in with our stamp and blends markers. Now these are the pool party in the light and the dark color. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna color him all in. Am I, am I gonna be able to do this? I think I am, so very carefully I'm using the fatter edge because it's a little bit faster to color with, okay? Then I'm going to take my darker um, pool party marker and just kind of, I want to add some shading kind of around the edges of him. Does that make sense? And then I can go back and kind of blend it, I guess that is. Sometimes I feel like I'm pushing on these and they're not on, but they really are. And then I can use my lighter pool party to kind of go back and blend him in a little bit more. So can you guys see? There's just a little bit of shading on him when you get him right up close. It's hard to see when I'm doing it down there. But can you see a little bit of darker and lighter shading with those light and dark markers? And then I'm going to take... This is that Calypso Coral. I'm going to color his nose in and then very carefully I'm going to cover color his legs in there. And there we go. And then this one I am using my one and a quarter inch <clears throat> circle punch and that is going to layer just, oops, where'd it go? Just perfectly on that little scallop circle. Okay, adhesive right here we go. Okay, so I'm going to add him. You see how he fits perfectly? That pool party cardstock just peeks out. I feel like that's not quite centered. Scoot him over a little bit. There, okay. Fits perfectly behind there. Mmm, dimensionals. I threw them somewhere. I've been trying to put them back in the same spot every time. Um, and that did not happen that time. So I found them though. Okay. I think we can go ahead and put this little guy on our card. Okay. Mm, I think I want that up a little bit more, don't I still? Okay, put that guy. My little birdie right there. And then I've got my hello friend. So I need my mini dimensionals, but I forgot those. So we are gonna just use the edges right here of, and those will work too if you don't. The minis are great because they don't pop out from the edges at all, but these will work if you're in a pinch and you've forgotten them for your Facebook Live video. That seems to happen sometimes. Okay, so I'm gonna put that guy right about there. And then the last little bit are these, um, what are they called? The Subtles Enamel Shapes. Now they come in two different size circles, hearts, and then there were stars down here, but I've used lots of them. And they have an adhesive, like a glue dot on the back of those two. So you just peel it off with a little imaging sheet and put it down where you like and press. And there you go. So aren't these cards just so, all right, I gotta clean stuff out of the way. They're so cute though, right? So let me remind you guys, I'm gonna get this piece right here. So I want everybody to remember that if you put in at least a $30 online order by next Wednesday at midnight, you are going to receive all of these projects that I demonstrated, right? So you're gonna get that little guy. Can everybody see? You're gonna get that one. You're gonna get that one and that one. So you're gonna get all four of these projects that I demonstrated today. And your name goes in the drawing to win the awesome new Eclectic Expression stamp set. So this is that stamp set that I showed you earlier that I made that masculine birthday card with. So make sure you do that. Put your order in. You're going to get these projects for sure. Your name goes in the drawing to win the Eclectic Expression stamp set. You just have to make sure to use this host code, the CH6SW4MQ. Make sure you use that host code. That's how I know to send you your, the projects and put your name in the drawing. 
And then because it's celebration, you might as well bump your order up to $50 because you will receive a free embellishment. And then you always, for me, separately, in addition, get a free embellishment when you put a $50 online order in and use that host code. So thank you so much for watching today. Don't forget to comment and share the video as well, and then your name goes in the drawing for that awesome Calypso Coral Shimmer Ribbon too. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. I hope you are all inspired today. I hope you have a great Friday. Um, and pray for everybody back at the high school and kind of just this is really difficult times that we are dealing with these days. And and I, I, I meant to say earlier, because some of it for me is praying for the people you know, whoever wrote that note, obviously they are going through a, a really difficult time in their lives too, and they could use some help. And hopefully they reach out and ask for the help instead of, you know, going through with whatever they're thinking about. So say a prayer for, you know, anybody that's troubled as well, that they ask for help and, and are able to get it. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope you all have a great day. I hope you were inspired and we'll see you next Friday. Bye-bye.